We want to make Matthews and Marner and Nylander hate every shift. One more before we let you go, okay, is the goaltending. And we talked about it's Carey Price. It's Carey Price. And how he can now come in and and flip a switch and what the odds were that he was going to just like that turn into a world-class goalie and maybe still the the only guy that uh can can a team can solely rely on their goaltender we saw it in the first uh instance in against pittsburgh in the bubble last year but it's certainly looking mac after game one he he can do it again well here here's the here's the real key to and and you t- mentioned this to me first of all defensive boxing people out making sure there's very few second chances and all that can help carry price okay and the other thing that can help carry price is when you play matthews and marner the last four minutes of the game how much are they going to have in the tank when it to get those second efforts around pucks i you cannot overplay your big guys it cost the bruins last year with pasternak and bergeron I mean, you can, Nick, they were on the ice the last four minutes. What did they have when it really counted? You said this to me this morning. What did they have left the last? No, no, the the last 40. It's easier on price, Nick. The 45, uh, 50 seconds in the last one, they had no gas in the tank, Mac. And I just think it's so early now to to push the Marners closing in last night, uh, a game leading 28 minutes, just shy of that. It's they they had their looks. There's no question they had their looks. But when it was all said and done, not much to show for it. And the only question is, is if if you if you think you're going to go deep three or four rounds, you you better rely on other players late in the game to to get a goal other than your your two horses, and, or else and that, it, it look, won't work. That's where t- lo- the loss of Tavares really hurt them last night. But he's got to find some other people. And Nick. If, if you're the coach of the Montreal Canadiens, you're saying to your team today, we want, and I and I remember I used this with the Panthers 20 years ago, we want to make Matthews and Marner and Nylander hate every shift. Yeah. And, and I don't know if they can do it because they're damn good. Matthews and Marner are damn good. But we know, Mac, that this game especially this time of year, is played as much between the ears as it is on the ice. And when you start planting that seed of doubt, oh boy, how things can change. That's it? That's all you got for us? Uh, uh, You roasting hot dogs tonight? What's going on? No, actually, I'm heading over to the Kentucky Horse Park to watch some riding today. And I'm going to actually rent a golf cart to get around the grounds because it's a huge... (laughs) Hot spot. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear my Nike Airs, and uh, you know, but I'm gonna. I think I'll get the golf cart to tour around and have a look. But it's a beautiful park, uh, amazing uh, equestrian park here. So uh, that'll be my day today, and then tonight, uh, Mackenzie's here. So we'll we'll go out. We'll treat ourselves. We'll get away from the bonfire. We'll get away from the grill, and we'll maybe move out to a a nicer, a little. A little upscale buffalo wings tonight, maybe. We we so appreciate the effort <laughs> out of the RV. Is this a first for for YouTube history that you know an extensive, in depth analysis of round one well, in the NHL from an this, RV? This happens all the time on YouTube, but it's usually about RV tip. <laughs> If because you, when Jill and I are driving, we have an RV podcast we listen to that gives us all kinds of RV tips. Oh, man. Okay, <laughs> well, well, we'll get into those on, on Monday if we can track you down. But uh, for okay, all bud. of you that uh, really enjoyed Mac's effort, hit the like button. And if you're watching for the first time, show us a little love and, and subscribe. Mac, an amazing effort from the RV today to break down the Leafs, <laughs> the Canadians and the John Tavares situation. Thanks for doing this, pal. Okay, bud. All right, we'll catch up to Mac as he continues on the road through America to get to PEI (laughs) in his RV.